Find the solution set of the following pair of equations. 2x plus 5y is negative 8, and 3x plus 4y is equal to 6. And remember that when finding the solution set of two linear equations, we're really just looking at this geometrically as the intersection of two lines. So our solution might be that the two lines will cross in some point, so we're just trying to find that point. Or we might have the case where the two lines are parallel to each other, and so that we get no solution. Or the final option is when the two lines are right on top of each other, and we get an infinite amount of solutions. And this essentially means that the two lines are just equal to each other. And there are a few ways we can solve this, but in this video, I'll use the addition and subtraction method to eliminate a variable. So if we multiply this top equation by 3 and this bottom equation by 2, our equations will then each have a 6x in them, and then we can subtract one equation from the other, and that will eliminate the variable x, giving us one equation with one variable, and then we can just solve for y, and plug that back in to find the solution for x. So multiplying the top equation by 3, we're left with 6x plus 15y is equal to minus 24. In the bottom equation by 2, we have 6x plus 8y is equal to 12. And now since the x coefficients are the same, we can subtract 6x minus 6x is 0 plus 15y minus 8y would be 7y. And minus 24 minus 12 is minus 36. Now we divide each side by 7 to solve for y. So we know that y is equal to minus 36 over 7. And now that we have the solution for y, we need to find the solution for x. So we can plug this value of y into either one of the equations. So I'll plug it into the bottom one. So now we have that 3 times x plus 4 times minus 36 over 7 is equal to 6. And then simplifying, we have 3x minus 144 divided by 7, and this is equal to 6, and then adding that number 144 over 7 to each side, we have 3x is equal to 6 plus 144 over 7, and on the right-hand side, we need a common denominator of 7, so everything will be over 7. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 144, so this simplifies 3x is equal to 186 divided by 7. And then to solve for x, we just need to divide each side by 3. So x is equal to 186 over 21. And 186 and 21 are each divisible by 3. So if we divide each number by 3, we're left with 62 divided by 7. And since 7 is prime and does not go into 62 evenly, this is as simple a fraction as we can make it. Then we can also turn this into a mixed number. 7 goes into 62 8 times, and there are 6 left over, so 8 and 6 sevenths would be our x value. So combining our x and our y values, we know that the coordinate at which the two lines intersect each other is at 8 and 6 sevenths and negative, so we'll turn this into a mixed number as well. This is equal to 7 goes into 36 five times, and there's one left over. So 8 and 6 sevenths is our x, and our y is minus 5 and 1 seventh. And this is our final answer.